poverty in Africa and the other parties of the world still a big challenge because people are living in a poor area. Family separation still a challenge in our society led by poverty, civil war. Land conflicts also still a challenge in Africa. People are dying because of land. Also the issue of HIV AIDS disease still a challenge in Africa. People are dying because of HIV AIDS disease. These are themes portrayed by the author known as Patrick Maikonguki in his beloved novel, The Interview. This novel was written in 2002 and the setting of this novel is Kenya. Patrick Maikonguki was born in 1957 in Kenya. He wrote the novel, The Interview, for the purpose of making awareness, especially young people, to struggle against poverty, against HIV AIDS disease. Also, he wrote the, for the purpose of educating students and the readers of the little books. This novel used in Tanzania Institute of Education in English language subjects in the ordinary level. The novel is about a Fumfu river called Joy or Joseph Kiman, who is the protagonist of the story. He has got a post and he is about to be interviewed on the day of the interview. He finds to have woken up late. This makes him skip his breakfast. He does each and everything in his heart to make sure that he arrives at the interview on time. On the way to the interview, he witnesses an instance in which a mad woman, nicknamed as Shush or Shosho, is knocked by a matat bus. Because of his loyalty, he decided to postpone his journey to the interview and says to the woman, Shush. He makes sure that the woman is at the hospital for treatment. After that, he goes to the interview while it is too late. Mr. Daniel Kungo, the manager of the company, Elephant Company, dismisses Joy from the interview because of being late. After being dismissed from the interview, Joy's brother, David, finds a job for his young brother, Joy. He, he eventually gets a post in the National Library for his young brother, Joy. Joy seems to be not interested with such a job, being a librarian, but he accepts it because he is in need of money to fulfill his financial requirements. For instance, he wants to collect his certificate at school, but he didn't clear his debt, and his parents died during the land crash. Therefore, Joy becomes a librarian. He works at the library. At the same time, he pays a visit to the hospital to get information about Shushu. He's wondering to see that he loves the woman very much like his grandmother. He keeps on thinking on her every time. When he's at the hospital, he witnesses another accident. The accident is that an HIV AIDS disease victim is committing succeed by jumping off the balcony of the eighth floor. Joe is informed that the person who committed succeed is a pastor. We also see the doctor, Dr. Ocheng, try to educate Joy on how to avoid HIV, using condoms, being faithful and having an HIV test before getting married. People are blinded not to know HIV AIDS disease. They also narrated the Joy myth with his friend Gladwell. They had not seen each other since the funeral of Gladwell's sister, whom they believe that she died of TB, something which is not true. The truth is that she is dead of HIV AIDS disease. In chapter 7, things being to rise, Joy is in the library, reading the past newspaper, and eventually discover that there is an announcement in the newspaper. The announcement is attached with Shush picture. It seems to have been written about one year ago. It announced that Shush, the old woman, gone missing her home a month ago. It is announced by Johnson K. Njongu. He promises a reward of 100,000 Kenya shillings to the one who had information about Shushu, his mother. Such information. Later on, they discovered that Joy is their relative, and as a result, they congratulate him. Joy for his loyalty. 
That is to save Shushu's life, despite his poverty. Johnson Kane Job eventually awards him joy 240,000 Kenya shillings instead of 100,000, which was announced in the newspaper. The story ends with Shushu. Has returned home, Joy discovers that he has very rich relatives. Johnson Kane Job, his uncle, who is the owner of the elephant companies, Daniel Kung, who dismisses him from the interview as a cousin of Joy's large father, Bernard Kung, and the woman he saved, Shushu, is his really grandmother. That's the plot summary of the novel, The Interview. The one who gives this talk is teacher Kaligodoto Njige, all the man of literature and the young African writers. Okay, let us look at the themes found in this uh, novel, The Interview. Number one, family disagreement. This refers to the situation in which a family breaks into small parts or pieces and be destroyed. This is much revealed in this book. Joy's family disagreed. The woman who he is saving is his little grandmother. He also failed to discover that Daniel Kung, who is the manager of the soap industry, is a cousin of his late right father, Bernard Kung. Daniel Kung also failed to discover that Joy is his relative. That is why he dismisses Joy from the interview. Number two, loyalty versus disloyalty. This is a state of being true and faithful in one support. While disloyalty is the opposite of being loyal. In the story, Joy seems to be loyal. For instance, the matat bus drive knocks the mad woman and it does not help her. But Joy, who led to the interview, decided to postpone his jam to the interview and save the woman short. Number three, favoritism or nepotism. This refers to the act of favoring people. For example, relatives or friends by giving them job opportunity or any advantages. Things, for example, Joy's brother, David, finds the librarian post to his young Joy. Number four, unity. This refers to the sense of togetherness that exists in a member of the society. The author portrays this by showing Joseph who struggled to support his sister's children by providing domestic needs. Dr. Cheng encouraged Joy to keep on with the spirit of supporting old man, woman in the hospital. Number five, selfishness. Selfishness is a state of act of getting concerned with all your needs and the wishes without taking into consideration the other people who may be in need of your assistance. In the novel, the author has shown Gladwell who is selfishness by discouraging Joy from the visiting the old woman to the extent of mocking him that he behaves like the Red Cross. Okay. Another thing is number, number six, hypocrisy. Refer to the act of making oneself to self appear to be virtuous or good. In the book, also shown the graduate is hypocrite because she agrees to escort Joy to the hospital by pretending to the closer to him, why not because at the first she was against the tenderness of Joy's regular visit to know how the woman was going on. Number seven, poverty. The fact of the state of being poor, such that a person fails to take care. Example, Joy, who completed his level education but fails to clear the school because of poverty. Okay, let us look the role and position of women. Women is portrayed as a family mother. Example, mother. Example, Shushu. Lea Wachek was mother of six children, including four daughters and two sons. Also, women portray the health officer. Example, Midred Awit, as a nurse working at the National General Hospital along with Dr. Ochien. Also, women portrayed as a brave person. Example, Joy's mother, Nancy Muihaki, who dared to help her dear husband, Bernard Kung, Joy's father who was dying from an hour. Okay, let us look at the conflict as revealed by the author. Number one, social conflict is a type of conflict in which people or group behave and interact good. Example, in social conflict during the ethnic clean thing in Imoro. So many people were killed and the houses were burned as a result of this conflict. Number two, psychological conflict. This is sometimes known as personal conflict. It's also typical of conflict exists in on the human mind in the book. They also present personal conflict by using the main character, Joy Kiman. He's shown thinking all the time about the old man, Shushu, who has been 
knocked by a car, matat bus. To this he was always thinking on himself, where did the strange of woman, of old woman come from? Who was she? Where was she going? What drove her insane? And who were her relatives? After looking at the conflict, as is shown by the author Patrick Michael Ngugi, let us look at the lesson or message found. The lesson we get in that being loyal is advantages than disadvantages. The love, joy, loyalty leads him into achieving his goals to get money and job opportunities. Second, we shouldn't compare HIV AIDS with death, since one may live with AIDS until he dies unlike what the pastor did to commit success just because he has got HIV AIDS. Said, we should be transparent on HIV AIDS so that people can be aware for infection. For instance, in the novel people are not transparent. Eugenia dies of HIV AIDS, but people are made to believe that it was to be. After looking at the message or lesson found in this novel, let us look at characters found. Number one, Joy Kiman or Joy. He's the main character of the book. He lost his parents due to the land crashes and the bodies were not found. He's a very kind boy, a saved life of an old woman. He was dismissed by Daniel Kung at the interview. He completed secondary education with some balance of school fees. He is a hard worker as well as committed boys a struggle to look for the job. Number two, Leia Wachek or Shushu. She is a mental disturbed old lad. She is like this ever since she heard the death of her husband, Kibe. She is knocked by a matat bus while closing a lot. She is the mother of Bernard Kung and Johnson Kung, the billionaire and the paternal grandmother to George. She went to meet Claire following the death of her husband, Kibe. She lived in a refuge camp to Nakul. Number three, David. He's the elder, Blazer to Joy, well as Blazer and the son of Bernard Kong. He's a kind and loving relative as he cares about Joy to get the job. He became disappointed of his young brother, Joy, after being dismissed out from the job. Number four, Gladwell. She's a Joy's girlfriend as well as the sister of the lady, Georgina, who died of HIV and disease. She says as she become help with delay joy to the interview, making her secure job. Number five, Daniel Kung. He's a personnel manager of Seat Industries where Joy went late to the whole interview. He's a cousin of Bernard Kung, who indeed is Joy's late father. He's a cruel and a strict man because he dismisses Joy excuse reporting late for the interview without knowing that save his grandmother. Refuses to hire Joy because of being loved. Number six, Johnson K. Njo. He's a billionaire in the West Chess, man in the city, who owned companies. The son of the old lady went abroad. Number seven, Dr. Ocheng. He's a doctor at the National Hospital, where the old man, woman was admitted. He's a kind and loving man, as he? he shown maximum cooperation to save the old man's life. Number eight, Uncle Johnson. He's a maternal uncle to Joy. David, Luz, and Mel, Joy's sister. He's a kind as well as very loving man because he cares about his sister, children, to attend school. He lives in a moderate kind of life. That is why he failed to pay all school fees to Joy but ensure that his nephew and the nieces get education by providing no domestic needs. Other characters like Dr. Cheng, Midred Ness, and Freddie Moas, medics, workers at the National Hospital, helped him to mobilize the old lady after in Athens, Mess Inspector Kilonzo, Joy Flay. Let us look at the title of this novel. The novelist has made the use of direct title as it can be seen to Joy's command. Being led to the interview because of saving of the old lady life, Gladwell is seen in the office of Mr. Daniel Kong, as well as other interviews as seen with the envelope and papers led to the interview. Also, there is an interview between Joy and the pals. There is an interview between Joy and the doctors. There is an interview between Joy and girlfriend Gladwell. Also, there is an interview between Joy and the Daniel Kong. Also, there is an interview between Joy and Shushu or Leia Wachek. The setting of this novel 
was located in Nairobi and Mombasa, which really exists in one of the East African countries called Kenya. This novel has 12 chapters with different announcements. Let us look at the figures of speech found in this novel. Number one, imagine, example, auditor, sound imagine, and the factual smell imagine shown in this novel. Number two, idioms, example, joy, yes, how is that, how is she? Dr. Cheng, you will not believe it, she is as a, me, a fiddle. Another figure of speech, similar, example, page 38. She is, she is as a fiddle. Okay, let us look at the relevance of this novel. This novel, the interview, is still relevant to our life or to our society. Example, the issue of poverty, the issue of HIV AIDS, the issue of family separation is still a big challenge and it's still a big problem in our society, especially in Tanzania and East African countries. Also, the issue of nepotism, betrayal, and the issue of hypocrisy is still a challenge in our society. That is the end of the novel analysis. My name is teacher Kadiko Dotonjige, or teacher Kadonji, the manager of literature and the young African. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment below this video. I'll give you the voucher if you listen at the end of this novel analysis. I'll give you the voucher. Send your number. My number, my contact is 07. No, 06. Five seven four one six seven eight two. I'm Pete. Zero six five seven four one six seven eight two.